thinking about you asking this question and you being on the other side of this camera and asking, when do you know a relationship is over? And the pain that I have personally felt in my own life when I was asking this, or when I was in that middle ground of not knowing if it's over and if it's worth working on it or better to extricate or to be out of this relationship, you know, there is no definitive answer that is kind of the rule of thumb for everybody that this is when a relationship is over. But there is some data that can back up, that can tell us when a relationship is toxic or unhealthy. And we can either decide to work to change some of these characteristics and habits, and we can do it with our partner and do it together. Because if we're not doing it together, then it's not going to work. If you're asking, when do you know a relationship is over? I would ask you to inquire, do me or my partner talk negatively about the relationship 50% or more of the time? Healthy relationships have a very high percent of a positive affirmation, positive language, positive representation internally and with others about the relationship. I, I have mostly good things to say about my relationship, and that's ideal in a healthy relationship. So if you're finding that 50% or more of your thoughts and words are not positive about your relationship, then you really need to start looking and ask yourself, is this a relationship I want to work on or do I need to start thinking about possibly leaving? Uh, and it's not an easy decision because, you know, any injury, you, quite often you can heal. That's what a doctor will tell you. But you also want to assess that for you personally. Do you feel like you're starting to notice that your partner has some mental health issues and they're unwilling to get those issues treated or unwilling to listen to you? Some of the hardest couples that I work with, and even though I would never say this to them in sessions, I will say this to you here in this video, that if your partner has a drinking problem and is unwilling to address it, and you are adamant that they need to work on it, then you, the individual who is looking at your partner with a serious mental health issue or an addiction, you will have to assess for yourself quite personally if you're willing to walk that path with them. And I can tell you it's a hard path to walk. You know, I don't have an easy answer for you, but if you're wondering if it's time to possibly walk out of a relationship, I'd say do some research about what does a healthy relationship look like and is my partner willing to do that work with me? And if your partner is unwilling, then quite often that might be a signal that this is not the right match for you. There isn't a more important decision in your life than who you choose to stay with. The data and research is really clear that healthy couples live longer, make more money, are more productive at work, are more creative, and overall feel better emotionally and mentally. So making this decision about staying or leaving is a really important one that you should really take seriously. And if you're asking it, then you should really be talking to your partner about this and seeing if they're willing to engage with you on creating a healthy relationship that has longevity and a relationship where your partner is in it with you.